Hello and welcome to 3dparadise.com <clears throat> In this tutorial I'll show you how to make a hologram material and you can use that in lots of stuff with robots and holograms and robots <laughs> so I'll just get started with creating a teapot this is the thing we want to make look like it's a hologram so we create this here go into the material editor, editor by placing uh, M and we can choose the standard materials here, standard and the color for this we want it to be green because holograms are green well, most of them are <laughs> and we are gonna need a little dark green here and you wanna put on the self illumination color and drag the color here to this one and copy then in the f opacity map we're gonna put in a fall off and that's gonna create this hologram effect kinda looky thing and in here you want it to be uh, set to this I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it because that's that's just gonna go wrong <laughs> So, um, one thing I do like to change, however, is um, you see the middle here, there's nothing of the material in the middle, and that looks really bad sometimes. So, you want to adjust the low value here down in the, the fall off settings, and just raise it a little bit, like so, because then there is a little bit of the greenish color there, and not just a black hole. In the bottom slot here we're gonna put in a noise map so we'll click the none and choose noise like that in here we are just gonna put this on uh, fractal 10 levels and the size is probably about right 25 and we're gonna go back again and back again then we're gonna apply it to our teapot and see what we get see it's starting to look like a hologramic holographic <laughs> image and if you put an object behind it you'll see that it's showing it when I render so in many holograms you can see uh, well the edges of the thingy getting shown and uh, you you can use this and just have it like this uh, but that's just a little boring in my opinion uh, so you could perhaps use video post to um, add a glow to this so add scene event just use perspective click OK and then I'm gonna add image filled event choose the glow I'm just going to click OK we're going to go into the settings but I want to put in a material ID uh, for this material here and I'm just going to change it to 1 like that and in these settings <coughs> of the glow I'm going to set the properties to effects ID number 1 this is the material ID you gave it and that's 1 in the preferences I'm gonna change this to 2 and I'm gonna take the intensity down to about 20 I think and we want it to be the pixel like the color of the model we want that to be the glow color so click OK and let's try render this now and see how it looks now see it's a bit more glowy now you can change the size a bit so it doesn't look way too over glowy <laughs> Maybe one would probably be better. Let's see what happens now. See that? That's much better. It looks pretty good actually. Oh, good enough for me. <laughs> but if you want the, these edges, as I talked about earlier, as yeah, so you can see the edges of your model, uh, you can just select the model. I'm just going to make this. 
these lines, those are the ones I want to show. Um, but to show those, we can simply just make a clone here, just copy, and align it back to the other teapot. All position, center, center. Click OK. Then we're gonna make a new material, and for this material, we can just drag this over, actually. <clears throat> but we're gonna clear the opacity slot, remove the self information color, and just jack this up, and the opacity down to 30. You can make these things as you want, all kind of colors. It's up to you. And we're gonna give this to this new one. Whoops! Just gotta rename the uh, rename this so it doesn't have the same name. Give this to the new copy you just made, and uh, change this to a uh, wire. We do that. So now we have the material for the teapot and the wire of the teapot on another model. So if you just render now, you'll see that you get the wireframe of it now. You can uh, put a lot of stuff on this. You see, I uh, still got that little thingy here. Um, so we go in here and to the opacity map and down to the curve. And we're going to raise this a little more. Like that. Let's see if that even helped. It certainly did not. Well, um, you can also change this to two sides if you want the other sides it just to be seen, but it can sometimes get a bit messy. I'll just try it and see what happens. To two sided and render. See, that looks really weird. Well, in theory, it should show the edges on the back side as well, but to give it a bit more pre look, I'll suggest you. Don't put two sided on. So I'm gonna go into video post and just have a little render. And this is our holographic teapot of doom. Anyway, good luck with your projects and have a good day. Bye.